Hi guys, Eddie speaking, VM Incubators Company. Today I'm going to give you a few useful tips over the usage of our Cosmo Mini LED. Don't forget, actually, this model is supplied with two controllers, the Mini LED control and the LCD Evo control, most sophisticated version. Check our latest video on YouTube to see the main differences. Okay? What we have here, Cosmo Mini LED equipped with ultrasound humidifier to perform uh, automatic humidity digitally adjustable. Don't forget this is an optional, so it has to be purchased separately as the glutasan, the new cleaning and sanitizing product for incubator. So let's take a look now at how it works. Before using the incubator, it's suggested to operate a careful cleaning of the unit inside and outside. Use glutasan and follow the quantity indicated on the box. Now, where to place the incubator? Place, place the incubator on a flat, level surface and close to an electrical power outlet for easier access. The incubation room must have a temperature comprised between 17 and 23 centigrade degrees. Now, before to switch on the unit, consider that this is already settled on the correct working temperature suitable for NX. Let's switch the machine on now and let's see how it works. Now let's switch the machine on and wait until the unit reach the working temperature fixed in 37.7 centigrade degrees corresponding to 99.7 Fahrenheit degrees on the thermometer supplied. A double check is important. What we have here? We have an adjustable turning grid suitable for all type of eggs. The machine is ventilated and we have two separate probes, one for temperature and a, and a small grey box for humidity to provide more accuracy in the reading. Let's see now how to behave for humidity. Natural surface humidification is performed by modular basins built up on the machine lower valve. How to manage humidity? Use the dispenser supplied and fill the basins with water. Humidity in this case will depend by the water evaporation surface. More surface, more humidity. Less surface, less humidity. Just a small tip over the unit equipped with automatic humidification system. Connect the pipe to the special dedicated intake and the plug of the ultrasound humidifier to the socket on the rear of the control panel. This way. Let's take a look to the loading of X now. We have leg horn X now. We have to secure enough space between the bars and the eggs have always to touch the floor to turn properly. Don't put this way, otherwise the egg will not turn. Let's go ahead to put eggs, one, one more leg on. And then we have Padovana eggs. Okay? In this case, we will have to check the space between the bars. In this case, the egg will fit perfectly as touch the floor and the space is enough. Now I show you the loading of all the English game fall eggs. Okay, as you see the space between the bars is lower as the eggs are smaller. And we have also leg bar eggs that will fit perfectly in any case as the eggs touch the floor and will turn properly. In our example we have incubated an X so we know that the cycle, the complete cycle uh, is 21 days 
and that includes 18 complete days incubation cycle, last the three days hatching cycle. During the incubation cycle, the eggs will have to be turned automatically. Last the three days, the hatching cycle, uh, you will have to increase humidity above all, and uh, you will have to disconnect the turning. Simply removing the metal bars of the turning grid or eventually disconnecting the plug. Don't forget that after every incubation cycle it will be suggested to operate the cleaning. We have predisposed some joints that will allow you to disconnect the lower valve by the upper valve for a careful cleaning. So enjoy your incubation with our Cosmo Mini Lab.